and the Medicare. Welcome to the channel. Now today is Sunday and I'm over here at the Mandalay Bay Sea Breeze Cafe. All right, now before we continue, I just want to let you know that there is a uh, weekend breakfast buffet over at the Veranda restaurant of the Four Seasons. And that is like a hotel that's kind of connected to the Mandalay Bay or something like that, you know. And uh, yeah, breakfast buffet, guys. I did go there and take a look. Beautiful place, very posh. The food looked amazing and they, they even fry your own donuts. Crazy guys, crazy, right? Look very good, look very good. But it's like 65 bucks. So I was like, oh, you know, like I'm just your regular working man. So, you know, 65 bucks for breakfast? I don't know, like, hey, it is the Four Seasons. So if you can afford the Four Seasons, you can afford the you know, Veranda Breakfast Buffet, available Saturday and Sunday, right? So I just turned around and came over here to Seabreeze Cafe, where they have the classic American breakfast for 20 bucks. That's two eggs any style, breakfast potatoes, toast, choice of chicken, apple sausage, pork sausage, applewood, smoked bacon. Hey, hello. Good morning, sir. My name is Norma. Hi, Norma. Hi, nice to meet you. Ready? Yes, okay. I'll take your classic American breakfast for 20 bucks. Okay. And how would you like your eggs? Uh, do you? Over medium? Is that a thing? Yes. Okay, over we medium. We have side of choice of meat. We have bacon, chicken sausage, pork sausage, and ham. Oh no, I just do bacon. Okay. Bacon's good, yeah. Bacon. bacon makes everything good. I love bacon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what, your choice of toast? Oh, we what's have available? Egg white sourdough English muffin rye. English muffin sounds interesting. Thank you. Yeah, if you didn't say it, I would have gone with white. But it's like, oh, <laughs> English muffin. I haven't had that for a while. Yes, okay. And we have the American breakfast with bacon over medium English muffin. Terrific. Thank you. Thank you, Norma. I'll be right back. Okay. All right. She's very nice. So while we're waiting for the food, I'll tell you about this straw. It says here, green print. Let's see if you can see it. All right. I've never seen this straw before. So let's see what's inside. Wow, it's harder to peel than, uh, than you would think. A little bizarre. Okay, I think I got it, guys. Oh. It might be some of that, like, uh, new material that saves the earth. Because then, like, it's as light as plastic, but it doesn't feel like plastic. I don't know. Let's see if, the, if it dissolves in tap water from Lake Mead. Let's check out the breakfast. It's looking decent, guys. This is actually quite big. It's looking like it's 11 inches across of food alone. And over here is the English muffin. It's looking really good, guys. To be honest, I, I think any more than this, I would not be able to finish. Okay, so first, English muffin. Hmm. Check out this butter, guys. It says grassland ripped butter. Don't know if you can see it. The name makes me feel like it's grass-fed butter. 
It would be nice if it is. By the way, guys, you know, when I was growing up, you know, there's this whole thing about saturated fat and how, like, vegetable oils and butter substitutes are better for you. And I believed it for a while, but then it turns out that, you know, the latest research shows that it's not true and that the uh, butter is actually better than uh, vegetable oils and seed oils and or the other kind of margarine, or oh, don't, don't, don't do, you know, like can't believe it's not butter, you know, I, I couldn't believe I bought it, you know. So, look it up guys, you know, if you uh, have not seen the latest stuff about butter, butter guys, yummy. Alright, cheers. Now I'm going to try this side. So, I'll tell you the truth, guys. Not impressed with the English muffin. This is a, a little tough, you know, a little tough. Uh, a little tougher than English muffins usually are. So I'll give it 6.5. All right. Now, the potatoes. It is well seasoned. I love the taste, but the texture is a little. The texture makes me think it isn't the ordinary like like a russet potato that I usually eat. It's a little bit golden. Could this be one of those like different potato breeds? Like um, yuck and gold? I have no idea. It just doesn't taste like normal potatoes. Got that extra bite to it, like firmness to it. I don't know. Well, somewhat unfamiliar but it's still very well seasoned. I'll give this a 7.5. Now we're gonna move on to the egg. Now I'm gonna break the yolk and see what color it is. I like the really golden yolks. What do you think, guys? It's a decent color. I know that, uh, you know, I am cheap, I have always admitted it. If I can spend less, I will spend less. And uh, you know, in the supermarket, I used to buy the uh, the cheapest eggs I can find. You know, 
none of that organic, cage-free, free-range, pasture-raised, none of that. I always went for the cheapest stuff. Then one day I decided to do a video comparing the most expensive eggs at Trader Joe to the least expensive eggs at Trader Joe, right? So I bought both of them, right? Was it Trader Joe or Target? Yeah. Wherever it was, right? The one that was the most expensive was Vital Farms pasture-raised eggs. And, uh, and then they got a box of their 99 cent stuff. Never went back to the cheap stuff, guys. Those pasture-raised eggs were so good. I mean, like, honing it in my hand, cracking it and everything. And it was delicious. I could taste it. It was like so... It's an egg on... I can't say on steroids because if I use that term to be like, oh yeah, that's a car on steroids, you know? Then you think like, oh yeah, that's a car. But if it's an eggs on steroids, it just seems like it's like, you know, uh, really, really crappy manufacturing, you know, to inject the chickens with steroids. And what on earth am I saying? Oh yeah, that's right guys. I did not sleep last night. I was up all night playing blackjack. Why did I do this to myself? Anyway, the eggs. With the salt, eight for the eggs. All right, let's try some of this bacon. Oh, I like it already. It's nice and flexible. I don't like it when you bend them in the shadows, you know? Sometimes they're like that. Mmm, they got a great bacon smell to it. Oh wow, look. When I bit into it, it's like parts of it became uh, little granules of uh, chewy parts. Yeah, that's to me. That's uh, not very pleasant, but the flavor is really good. I would give this 7.3. It's good, it's good. Nothing wrong with it, guys. All right, so I'm gonna end this segment over here and we're gonna move on to the next segment featuring the Veranda Buffet Pictures.